I didn't see anything about this movie. I didn't see a trailer. I saw posters. You know, I go on Facebook. Like, this movie has been everywhere on Facebook. Like, oh my god, Nicolas Cage's transformation. Oh my god, it's the scariest movie. Oh my god, it's the next Silence of the Lambs. Anyone saying that sort of shit? You know, they're just sheep, man. Like, so many reviewers and these critics, they just go after these sound bites, right? Like, like I just said. Look, I just saw Long Legs. Um, as I said, didn't know anything about it really, other than the fact that Nicolas Cage was in it and the reviews have been pretty good, as far as I know. I don't know where to start, okay. Uh, this will, this is gonna anger people. Whenever you review something that gets overwhelming praise and you're not on the same level of praise, people are gonna have a go at me, so whatever. I started off really into this movie. It started off real cool, real slick. I liked the direction, the way it looked. And then it got to a certain point about halfway through where I was over the presentation. This is a movie that lives and dies on its presentation. The characters in this movie, the way the movie looks, the editing, it's all designed specifically to exist in this vacuum that is called long legs. Now that might sound like, yeah, that's what a movie is. That's what a movie is. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is if you're not engaged by the presentation, there's not a lot there under the surface in my opinion. The, the main character, she has a quirkiness about her that is endearing, but after a while she becomes grating, constantly hyperventilating, making dumb choices, the characters around her, all very similar. They, uh, the one guy, her captain, FBI captain, was great. He had a bit of heart and character to him. He was the best character in the movie. But everyone else just felt like, every, like everybody felt like plot devices. The camera movements, er, like it's all designed to be marketed the way it was. The creepiest movie you've ever seen. Don't show Nicolas Cage's face just because he's got really over the top makeup on. As I said, the movie lives and dies on its presentation. Yes, it looks great. Yes, everything is like masterfully directed. It is what it is. I don't wanna criticize the movie for being what it is because there's a lot of people out there, obviously, that enjoy this kind of movie. And as I said, I did up to a certain point. But after, after a while, you get over the presentation. Like, there's only so many minutes in a row I can look at a slightly off-center shot or a really wide shot or a nice smooth tracking shot or loud violins or imagery that is satanic. There's only so many times I can see that and be like, oh, wow, before I'm just like, what's the point? Where's the heart? Where's the soul? What's the point of the movie? Nicolas Cage is in it. He plays the serial killer. Just typical over-the-top Nicolas Cage in my opinion he didn't he creeped me out at certain times early in the movie when he was more subdued and then you see him for what he is and it's just it loses the creepiness um, as I said the main character she's endearing but at a certain point the girl doesn't make decisions that are logical she's got this massive cabin house with open windows the serial killer goes into her house at one point and she's just got the windows open all the time her mother is clearly involved, spoilers, her mother is clearly involved in this and she doesn't act on it. Let's talk about the ending because the ending is what ruined it for me. I was losing interest up until that point and then the ending just utterly ruined everything for me. So the main character's mother is in it with long legs, an accomplice. She made a deal with him to spare the daughter's life because she could have been a victim many years ago. So she's helping him carry out these murders by putting dolls he creates in the victim's house. The dolls have the devil in them? I think it's not explained. It takes a real left turn here and gets into supernatural shit. The doll possesses the father in the house. The father kills the whole family and then kills himself. Right? I guess because Hail Satan was the motive. I don't know. If you're going to make a supernatural movie, 
make a supernatural movie. If you're gonna make a pol FBI procedural, make that. If you're gonna combine it, at least drop hints or, you know, through the movie, it just takes a left turn and it just... And I heard the people leaving the theatre with me, everyone felt the same. It's just a bizarre, bizarre, bizarre twist. Not even a, it's not even a twist. You can't just make something happen that isn't expected and call it a twist. Twists have to be earned. This was not earned in my opinion. I, I'm, I don't even know what to say. Then, so blah, blah, blah. We found out, the main characters figured out that there's a triangle of birth dates over the decades that the killer has been doing. For me to go into it is a lot, I'm not going to, but basically they're like, well, the only date that's missing in this triangle of dates is the 13th. Something has to happen on the 13th, but we don't know who. Ends up being the FBI captain's daughter's birthday on that date. And so Long Legs makes a doll for the daughter. The mother drops it off to the house. This is the very end scene, right? Father gets possessed. The captain, the only good character in the movie, really, stabs the wife. And our main character's just in the living room, hyperventilating, again, listening to this man stab his wife off screen, and she's just like, oh. There's so many times in this movie the main character should have called the FBI and said, this just happened. Doesn't. I, I can't talk about this movie anymore. I won't recommend it, and I won't not recommend it. If you watch a trailer, I'm sure it spells it out. You'll know if you're into these sorts of movies. It's not it for me. Enjoyed the first half. Completely lost me in the second half. As I said, lives and dies on its presentation. It wants you to walk out of the theater and go, Oh my God, Nicolas Cage. Oh my God, how weird and quirky were the camera shots. Oh my, how symmetrical was it? Oh my God. And that's, that's what the movie's meant to be. If you like this sort of movie, you'll like it. If you don't, you won't. I wasn't insulted by it. Let's get one thing straight before I leave you. It is very well done. This is obviously someone, a director, with complete vision. Like, it's executed so well. It is. Let's not confuse that. Just because I didn't enjoy the movie doesn't mean something's bad. That's why I don't like calling reviews critiques. Like, I'm just, it's an opinion. So everything's masterful. All the acting, like, everything is so well done. It really is. It's just not for me. Maybe it'll be for you. Make up your own mind. See ya.